This is Dr. Frederick. Um, question about what this means in a uh, module assignment. Use technology to compute the p-value for a chi-square test statistic. It's it's not uh, very straightforward. It's not a great way to um, to say that. Probably your book tells you what it means by this. But when when I see this, use technology to compute a p-value for any test statistic. You know, I just go to the web and would find um, a calculator. So let's see how I found this one. We'll go back a little bit. I just, I hope you can see up this high. I'm just going to bring this down a little. But I just typed in in Google chi-square calculator. And then it says free p-value calculator for a chi-square test. And I hope that it's free. In our example here, we had a chi-square of 13.228 and a 1 degree of freedom. And that's all the information you need to know. The value is set for, for all time. So, you know, it's not hard to get uh, these calculators loaded with information. We're going to put in 13.228. We're going to say 1 degree of freedom here. And we're going to hit calculate. Okay, and, and what did it tell us? It told us the value was 0 .00027 or 0 .0003. And that's what we have here. That's the right answer. Another technology we could do is just try to figure out the formula for it in Excel. Let me bring this down a little bit. Okay, so here's my chi-square value, here's my degrees of freedom, and then I'm just going to find a chi-square formula, and I've already figured out it's this one. That's going to give it to me, it wants the value, and it wants the degrees of freedom, okay? In parentheses, enter, it gives me that same value, okay? So technology says, look, the chi-square tables were set up a long time ago. You're trying to find values in a table. And so you could look at a table or you could get something like Excel or an online calculator to do it for you.